welcome to Crafts Day 2, BBSers. Today, we're going to be making our very own beach diorama. Isn't this cool? Cool, neat, beachy scene. But what's even cooler is the memory verse. We'll zoom right up for you guys. Let's say it together. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. So God is love. And he shows us that love by giving us his son. Could you imagine having to give your own son, and even though you knew he would die? And God did this for us. He gave us Jesus even while we were still sinners. So if you're ever feeling unloved or unlovable, you can think about the cross and how God sent his only son because of his love for you. All right, so now that we have our reminder of God's love, and what he did for us with his death on the cross. We're gonna work together and create our own beach scene with our memory verse. So we're gonna have for supplies, everyone's gonna have their own Petri dish with a lid. It already has some foam glued on the bottom that just helps it to fit, make a nice tight fit. You have your own cross. You're each gonna get a sheet to color in with your memory verse and cut out. And then, um, you're gonna need some beach shells and a little bit of sand. We're also, um, supplies from home, you're gonna need a set of three markers, a yellow, an orange, and a blue. And a blue highlighter looks good for the water. And then because the sand is messy, you can either do this craft outside or have a plate to work under when you're doing the sand part or um, a baking sheet or a newspaper. So, for step one, Everyone can color in their sheets. Now they recommend doing yellow for the top and then doing blue on the bottom. You can get messy because you're gonna cut these right out. Um, but be creative and do whatever, you can decorate them however you want, really. Um, that kind of is our water. And take your time on this. I'm just going quickly, just as an example. And so after you get yours all colored in, I use a couple of splashes of orange right above that horizontal line just to make it look like a sunset. You can draw in the sun, you can just be creative. And then you're gonna have an adult, or maybe you have an older sibling that's okay to use scissors, help you cut your circle out. And you'll just use the line. And then this will fit right into your Petri dish. So once you have your picture all colored in and cut out, it doesn't have to be too perfect, it's pretty forgiving. You're gonna carefully open up your Petri dishes. And you're gonna wanna either with craft glue or if your mom has a hot glue gun at home, you're gonna wanna glue this in. And then you're also gonna wanna glue in your cross where you want it. So it's gonna look like that. And I kind of put the foam towards the bottom um, just so that way it gives a nice seal, but it doesn't matter too much where you put it. Now you're gonna wanna pause the video here and either practice memory verse, sing songs, wait until your glue dries because we're gonna put sand in here and sand will um, just attach to anywhere there's unglue, um, wet glue. So take a couple minutes, make sure your glue is all dry before you move on to the next step. And then our last step really is we're gonna need a scoop of sand. I just used a tablespoon, that'll be enough probably. And then you can add a little beach shell to remind you of the beach. And then carefully, you might need your help from your parents because it is a tight fit. Put your cover on. And then you're gonna have your very own beach scene. Um, what you can do um, if you're crafty, if you have extra ribbon around, you can always glue, have a parent glue ribbon around the edge or you can put like a colorful, some people have colorful duct tape or something to decorate. Um, um, I'm trying to think anything else. Oh, the one thing I do want to say, kids, make sure you pay attention. Do not shake these. These aren't maracas because the sand could leak out and your parents will not be happy. So make sure you don't shake these after, okay? It's just for decoration. 
If you even have a magnet, a thick like disc magnet, you could super glue or hot glue gun them to the back, the back of your thing and you could have them as a fridge magnet. So, all right, we hope you have fun with your day craft, uh, day two craft, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and for little guys, we have a, a craft just for the little ones that's a little different. Ethan's gonna help us with this one. So, we're gonna make our own beach scene where we're gluing. So, you'll need a glue gun for that, or a, a glue stick for this. And then we're gonna glue um, a beach scene together with a sailboat. Do you, wanna, do you wanna do it? Or do you want me to help? Okay, I'll, I'll help for this one. But what you'll, you're, get some glue and you're gonna glue down each piece so the bottom is blue for the waves and then we have a boat here so we're gonna glue our boat on and take your time with this and ask for help with an older sibling or adult if you need to And when you glue all your pieces on, you're gonna have a beautiful ocean scene with a sailboat. There's a little bit of extra water to overlap. Take more time than I'm doing. Make sure you get the edges. Make it look nice and neat. And then this whole piece of our cute little beach scene, once you have that assembled, it's gonna go into our plastic bag. We're gonna want to add a small scoop of sand you can add your seashells too. So if you have a seashell or two, you can add those. Make sure you ziplock pretty tight. And then we're gonna add it to, we've got a little frame, so you can hang this up. We're gonna glue on, oops, we got a memory verse. The same memory verse that the older kids have. The younger kids, you can practice it with your younger siblings. The Romans 5.8. You're gonna glue that onto your frame. And then the last step to seal everything in place is you're gonna take your stapler, if you have some staples at home, or you could do maybe some, some glue, but staples are nice because then it seals the bag shut and you're gonna put one or two staples to keep it um, in place. And that is our craft for the younger guys.